In this video we're going to look at digestion and the role of the teeth in digestion. We're first going to look at digestion, then the two different types of digestion, chemical digestion and mechanical digestion, the different types of teeth involved in mechanical digestion, and some comparison between some different animals. Digestion happens in the digestive system, and it is the process by food which we eat, going from outside our bodies, being broken down into pieces small enough to be absorbed and taken into our bloodstream. Now this digestion happens both chemically and mechanically. Chemical digestion occurs when a chemical reaction takes place and this reaction is usually a hydrolysis reaction and it is only able to be done by the use of specialised enzymes or biological catalysts. And we group these catalysts into three main groups based on the substrate or the thing that they break down. So we have amylases, which break down carbohydrates produced in the mouth, in, found in saliva, as well as pancreatic juice produced in the pancreas. We have proteases, which break down proteins. We found, found these in the stomach acid produced by the stomach, as well as the pancreatic juice produced by the pancreas. And lipases, which break down lipids, produced by the liver found in bile, as well as again in pancreatic juice. So you can see that the pancreas and in the pancreatic juice produces a lot of different enzymes and it produces all three different enzymes. But it's not the only organ that produces these enzymes, they are found elsewhere. Mechanical digestion rather than a chemical reaction happening is the breaking up of food into smaller and smaller pieces. And the reason that we do this is to increase the surface area of that food so that the chemical digestion can occur more efficiently. The majority of mechanical digestion occurs by the teeth. And we have four different types of teeth that are found in most mammals that do this digestion. We have the incisors for cutting and cropping, the canines for shearing, the premolars for grinding, and the molars for chewing. The different combination of teeth depends on the diet of the animal, so what the animal eats. And humans are omnivores, we eat both meat and plants, so therefore we have a balance of the four different types. Carnivores, on the other hand, have enlarged canines for tearing meat, as well as specialised cheek teeth using, used for slicing flesh and bone. Herbivores, animals that only eat plants, don't have canines at all. Instead, they have flat double teeth, and they use this for grinding and chewing fibrous plants. In this video, we've looked at digestion, being the breaking down of food into smaller enough pieces that our body can absorb them. We've looked at chemical digestion, which is aided by enzymes broken into three classes, amylases, proteases, and lipases. We've looked at mechanical digestion, which mainly occurs with the teeth. We've looked at the four different types of teeth, the incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. And we've looked at a comparison between some different mammals and the different teeth structure that they have. And we noticed that carnivores have larger canines and incisors, while herbivores have flat molars and premolars for grinding. 